welcome if you are new or welcome back to the week's nest. My name is Nicole and in today's video I have either four or five, depending what made the cut, DIY projects for you using all items that are ready in my craft room. So I hope you get some inspiration. These are common, I would think, items if you have a craft stash, like just simple decor um, signs, some cardboard, just easy stuff like that. So I hope you get some inspiration from this video to use what is in your craft stash and let's get started. So something that I like to do and a tip that I have, whether I can go out to the store or not, is I like to browse online for inspiration to see what I can recreate, especially with items I already have to really cut down on the cost. So a lot of what you're gonna see in this video is just that. So I was on the Kirkland's website and I saw this picture for $29.99 and I knew I could recreate it. I am using this picture from Dollar Tree. I've had this for a while. It's really like a good size and sturdy as far as the Dollar Tree sign goes. I just don't like the eyelashes on it. So I'm gonna use the back as the front and I'm going to measure how big I need to cut a piece of foam board I already had. You can even put like thick cardstock in this. You can do a piece of cardboard and paint it, whatever you have on hand. So I just measured the inside of this picture, made my measurements on the foam board and cut with my rotary blade. They're playing your cards with your queen of hearts When everyone folds your forge to holes You're placing your bed and once I knew that that was gonna go ahead and fit, even though if you see there, I cracked the foam board a little bit, which is fine, I just went ahead and took a screwdriver and took off the hanger that came with the picture. Now, I will have a free printable and an SVG of this image down in the description box below. And I decided to use my Cricut. I used some scrap vinyl in this bin that I have with all scrap pieces of vinyl. This is vinyl from Arteza, I've just had it in my stash, and I went ahead and put the fonts that I used on the screen. I can also put them down below in the description box. I used American Typewriter and Photoshoot from Defont.com. Now, as you can tell, the colors are not exact, but this is all about using what you have. I really loved this piece, especially the saying that it has, start each day with a grateful heart, something that I definitely try to live by. So. I liked the quote, I used what I had, and I actually liked the color palette that I used. And to secure that foam board in the sign, I just used some hot glue. Now the original has the beaded tassels, which you know are my favorite. It had it kind of draping over and blocking some of the words, which I didn't like. So I have this tassel, this jute tassel from burlapfabric.com, which I have a coupon code I could put down in the description box below. Um, I like this, so I kind of just hot glued and bordered that on top, and it gave that same tassel look, but to me, this is such a beautiful message. I did not want to cover it with anything. So not perfect because I cracked the foam board, of course, but I love this. It was a great way to use up stuff in my craft stash and something that I will definitely keep in my home year round. Showing no regret. Close your eyes. Before we move on to the next DIY project, I'm excited to let you know that this video is a group collab with 12 other super talented ladies here on YouTube that I also am so blessed to be able to call my friends. So I will have the playlist down in the description box below, but basically we all wanted to come together use what was in our craft room, share some easy decor ideas with you, crafting ideas, using what is in our craft rooms to inspire you in this time where we are all staying home, figured it'd be some good inspiration. So make sure you check out the playlist down below to see what everyone else came up with with their craft stash. Our next project, again, drawing inspiration from the Kirkland's website. I loved this sconce that was $49.99, and I was like, um, no way am I paying that. So, plus I can't go out to the store anyway. <laughs> so, I decided, since the sconce had a bit of a curve to it, to use this oatmeal container from Aldi, and this thing was actually really sturdy. It took me like a hot minute to cut it in half, but I just cut the cardboard in half, I kept the curve on it because I needed that for the sconce. And then the bottom actually, I realized was a great place to kind of use as a like shelf for a candle. So I just trimmed that to size. 
I got these decals, these peel and stick decals from Target Dollar Spot months ago. These you will see when I get my laundry room finished. I'm almost there, guys. Um, these is what, these, this is what, there we go, I used for the backsplash. And I thought that they would look nice against this. They are clear, so you could see whatever the background is on them. But I actually liked it against the look of the cardboard. Um, you could totally paint it, but I mean, this is like a dirt cheap DIY for me, so I left it. Now to give our faux shelf, which is the bottom of the oatmeal container, more stability, I just took some craft sticks, cut them to size, and then hot glued them going first horizontally and then shorter pieces going vertically just to really give this faux shelf um, the ability to act as just that for a candle. Also, if you like Trash to Treasures, I will link down below some recent videos that I did with some upcycles and recycle items, turning them into decor in case you're interested in that. This is how it turned out. The shelf actually works perfect, I decided to put a little succulent on this and I have this on my dining room server. You could definitely put like something to hang it on the wall, but I mean, for an oatmeal container, you can't beat it. And technically, if you wanted to, you can get two sides of the oatmeal container once you cut it in half, so you can have a pair of sconces even. Our next DIY is ridiculously easy. I took another scrap piece of foam board. I always have foam board from Dollar Tree, black and white, although I used up all my white, <laughs> um, of course. But I actually like the black. It's a little more of a pop. I always have this in my craft room. I went on Cricut Design Space. I did not design this, um, but I thought this quote was so appropriate for the challenge at hand. It says, love is a well-stocked craft room. This was, like I said, just a design that was already in Cricut Design Space. So I went ahead, cut this on some scrap vinyl, and then using these scrap pieces of basswood that come in an assorted pack at Hobby Lobby, I've used these in a lot of my projects before. You get a whole bunch of different sizes for like $7. Um, I left them unfinished, hot glued them on the top and bottom. I kind of like that look, not having the full thing framed. And I have this in my craft room. I absolutely love this. It's such a cute sign. And again, just there's so many things that you can create when you just use and look at what you have. In the moment, If you haven't noticed, I've really been eyeing a lot of stuff on Kirkland's website. So this is another inspiration piece I have. Now, I have had this picture, I think this is from Walmart, it has like a plexiglass. So looking back, like I'm actually cringing editing this because I really could have like cut my hand. Thankfully I didn't, I was able to pop out that piece successfully but this is a great idea again using foam board you can actually get so many projects done with one piece of foam board this is a great idea if you have like an empty frame and you want to use it for something else so I just cut the foam board and trimmed it to size for the frame which we will be hot gluing momentarily to this now the original had this like little embroidery hoop with the decal inside and greenery I was going to use an actual embroidery hoop. I'm kind of playing with where I want to place it since this is a much smaller sign than the original. Um, I'm using photo shoot font again. I spelled out this is us just like the original. Um, I cannot hold as many pictures as the original. You'll see the clips has, but that's fine. So I decided to put, not the embroidery hoop, I had this random cardboard circle, which you'll see me use in a second. That's what I use, but first before I glue anything, I wanna put my decal down, just so that's much easier to kind of place it. So I went ahead and did that. And like I said, I used this cardboard circle, which is smaller than the embroidery hoop, some scrap, like greenery and just glued that. I have no idea what this cardboard circle is to. I mean, knowing me, it's probably from an Aldi oatmeal can because that seems to be <laughs> one of the things I like to craft with, but I have no idea what this circle is from. But again, I went through my craft room. I found something that I can use 
and it worked perfectly. So once I had the greenery glued, it's time to attach the frame with some hot glue to the foam board. And then a little more hot glue to attach the cardboard wreath, we'll call it, modern wreath, I don't know. Hot glue that where the This Is Us is. That's a mouthful. Then I had some of these little clips in my craft room. I used this for a laundry room sign I made a while back. And I can only fit two staggered. My plan is to eventually put pictures on here, but I just didn't have any that fit this frame but again this is a great way to use maybe like an empty frame that you have if you have a Cricut or if you want to do something freehand this is a great project you get the look for way less Now our last project is definitely an example of improvising with what you have. So I decided to use one of these Dollar Tree arrows that I, my brain like didn't tell me to think to use them as a house until I saw like Crafts by Caitlin use it as a house. Um, Yami, the Latina next door, she used it as a house and I was like, oh, I could do that too. Didn't even think of it. So I went ahead and used the back side because I used the front for a project you will see probably soon and then sanded that down with a Dollar Tree sanding sponge. And then I gave it one good coat of Folk Arts White Adirondack chalk paint. Now, the original has like a wood lined roof. I just decided to take some moccasin brown acrylic paint that I had and just lightly outline the roof instead, kind of giving it some contrast, but it's much easier than having to cut little dowels or wood or anything like that. And once all that paint is dry, taking a ruler and a pencil and making some shiplap lines all throughout. I kind of eyeball this, but I think they're about like a half inch apart. So I try to make them as even as possible. I also have a free printable and an SVG file for this image down in the description box. So originally I was gonna cut this entire thing on my Cricut, but the font that I chose, I was just having a really difficult time weeding it. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I just really wasn't being patient on this particular day. So I've done font that small before, it's doable. I don't know, I was just having a day guys, it happens. So I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna weed it. I'm just going to write what I had down. I don't really like my handwriting that much. I think it would have looked a lot more polished had I used my Cricut, but real life, I just went with it, so that's what we did. And then I decided to add this little black heart decal that I made. I felt like it was missing something, and I just added that to kind of polish it off. And this is really cute. I mean, obviously, it's nowhere near the original, but it's using what I had on hand, and I got the same idea, and then I customized it more to what I thought or I wanted the quote to be. So as always, I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. I hope that you got some ideas of maybe projects that you can do using items you already have in your craft room. I know for me, since I love to craft, I have so many odds and ends, and it's actually kind of like refreshing to be able to go in my craft room and just kind of challenge myself and draw some inspiration from maybe some websites from different stores and just kind of brainstorm what I could put together. It's nice instead of always having to like run out and buy something when I know I have plenty of supplies at home. So be sure to check the playlist down below to see what everyone else came up with with their craft stash. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, say hi in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.